So listen, if any of you guys are thinking about doing your own podcast, man, I highly recommend you use Anchor. Anchor Anchor.fm. It's free. You know what I mean? It's got all the tools and stuff you need to make your stuff sound spiffy. You know what I mean? It's it's seamless. It's it's user-friendly. You can record it from your phone. You record it from your computer. You know what I'm saying? If you want it to be on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or anything like that, it'll do it for you. You know, you can make some money, you know what I mean, doing a sponsorship ad and just like something like this. And it's also free. So if you're interested in it, man, you can download the free Anchor app or you can go to anchor.fm. Good luck. Alrighty, folks, back in the lab, back in the studio, episode 19, Song Dreamer. What's happening? What's pop? I don't know, man. I mean, I got you in here, man, so we can talk a little shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I know you. If I think if anybody can talk shit about as much as me, it's definitely your ass. No, it definitely is. Definitely so just make sure you stay on the mic so all the listeners I'm can hear you. I'm going to stay on Tighten the up. mic. Tighten up. Get out of here. Anyway, so what's going on? What you do today? Man, telework. Telework today. I telework uh, four days. They trying to put us back in for three and shit. Look, I would, I take, I would take a man's life to go in the office once a week. I actually wouldn't we kill go, anybody. We going, we saying. going once, a week. and it's not. I promise you, it is not. Thing, not. So, well, no, no, I don't know your setup, but our setup is because we're remote access, because we're walking. We had to put up signs. And what do you do? So I am an IT specialist really? at the VA. Mm-hmm. At but the I'm VA? Not, Who got you that job? Okay, now I'm a con- Who got you that job? job? First of all, you're a Govy and I'm a contractor. But I have been there for three years. Three years. Man, three I've been years. trying to. Every every time I fill out a job at the VA, they be on the board. I done filled out a couple of IT specialists, some program specialists, some analyst positions. Well, normally the way in um, with some of the especially the IT department, is contractor. And then, like, for example, my team, I've been there three years, three years. She has switched over to five years. So you just waiting. Shit, they had, to, they had to bring you in. It's pretty high on the GS scale, too. No, no, let them bullshit you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, no, that is true. So what I do and what you do is different. So I rarely work with computers. I do a little bit of computer stuff, but we basically do mobile. Oh, you the uh, you the you so you like the voice over IP gurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the we're the uh, you know what? We can help you with your PKI cert. Just stop touching stuff. I tell you, I tell you one thing. What I realized was people that work with computers a hundred percent of the time with clients in public, y'all's patience like because when you say, "Hey, over." And just remote into your computer, it's always a problem. Like, they're always doing something. That's because motherfuckers, they just because they be watching that porn. Like, that's why. No, they, they don't know how to turn it computer on or off. They don't know how to turn the device on or off. Like, how long? 40 years? You need to retire. Well, you know the, you know the oldies, man. They don't, you know, they don't like, they don't like change and shit like that. Like, remote. They want you to, they want you to come into the office. That's why the ambulance pulls up. Yeah. At yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to come and pick the, I promise, I promise you, at least four times a year, it's like body fell, body fainted, and this is COVID. So. That's how the government is. Look, the government is the reason why. You know, you may see a whole bunch of government jobs and USA jobs, monster and shit like that. It really ain't no fucking jobs because seventy <laughs> percent of the government is a hundred and three years and over, and they don't want to oh, retire fact. because they're fucking GS twelve to fifteen. They will not leave. Maxed out on steps. It's like, well. If I'm the senior guy, I've been doing this shit for 30 years. It's like, why the fuck do, why should I leave if I'm, I got shit sweet? They come in and out as they go. And you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the young Thundercat that I am, I'm trying to get some of that. But apparently, you, you know, you know what they say? Cat. You know what they say? Well, when it's like, when you, when you apply for a job, that's an 11 or 12 or something like that, which is like, which is like home plate pretty much. Right. When you get to that, you know what they say? They say, you still, they say you too young or you still young. Like it's an age. There's this unwritten rule that if you're not in you your be, if you're oh, not in your wow. upper forties, you really you don't rate. Good. You don't rate to be an eleven or twelve. You know what I mean? Unless you just 
unless you know somebody. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so work, what else is going on? I'm surviving quarantine. Like, for this whole time of quarantine, you know, I, I, he was hitting it hard. Yo, I still hit hard. I run outside. I did two miles a day. Twenty. Trying to catch up with Wally? No, nah, I'm not. First of all, Wally. <laughs> that's well, that's Wally. a running son of a I bitch. Can't I can't tell. It, Wally. I saw a picture of Wally, and I didn't recognize him because um, I was like, "What's this?" Why I never seen his bone structure? Because you know, look, 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 always... looking real bony in the yeah, face. Yeah, right? he he looked like um Fifty Cent when he played that movie where he was supposed to like sit and yeah, all that. He don't look like. I know he's not sick. I I know he's just healthy. He don't but... look like Mike Tyson no more. He does. Sit. No, you're right. He, he don't has... look like well, Mike Tyson. I think I think he's got to be in that running shape. He's got like nobody face not. Man, I'm telling you, ever since the accident, man, as soon as soon as he got back on on, on the good foot, that's all he's been doing. Like running. even even that running, exercising, he was cycling pretty hard too. But I think yeah, he just does the running now, man. I mean, you know, me running. running is fun, but I mean that's that's something I gotta work my way back up to because I got bad I got bad knees. I mean, are even, they even though are they even really though I'm playing basketball, hell yeah. yeah. But I, if you playing basketball, then that's that's short though. That's short sprints. I got patella tendonitis in both knees. So that's that's like a that's like yeah I shouldn't be playing basketball either but it's like I like basketball more than running so as long as so I'm so you'll risk okay. as, as long as so, as long as I'm running you know what I'm saying so it's worth that you're like I risk this but I ain't but I'm doing the CrossFit time. too I signed up for a CrossFit yeah, you did tell gym me about that. I like I, that shit um, it's expensive yeah it, when you told me the price I was like it and is then, expensive and then, I, then I thought to myself like what level of social is we we're pretty spread out oh, y'all are for, for the for now they said until we get below fifty degrees we. We're outside and we're spread out, so it'll be one oh. person here, it'll be one oh, person okay. like out there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Not bad. But even not bad. the facility is big, so we only we never have more than ten people in the class. So you're talking about like fifty five hundred square feet. So yeah, we're, hmm. we're we're pretty spread out. Okay. So I asked the guy. I was like, man, you know, I was like, this price though, man. He's like, listen. Hmm. He's like, I'll give. I'll put it to you like this. He's like, it costs more than a regular gym membership, but hmm. it's cheaper than a personal trainer. Mm, yeah, probably. Because, you know, you may think that they're not watching, but I had, you know, the the, the class I did before yesterday, uh, was it Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Or one Monday I did a class, and it was two guys. So every time I was jacking shit up, the guy was literally like, yeah, man, you're doing that wrong, you know? And then, like, was literally <laughs> going out of the way and oh, wow, showing okay. me, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, then, okay. and then was like, when shit was getting easier, he was, he was like, yeah, I just brought you some heavier weight. Like, he wasn't really letting up Ooh. off me, but plus, you know, me yeah. and me and Brian were new. Oh, Brian went. To Brian's me? in it with me. You know, Brian can't do shit by himself. Nice. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Shout Brian, out to Brian, Brian, he needs somebody to do something with him. Oh shit. My God. So he in there with me, man, and it's it's pretty intense, and it's and you know, I thought it was gonna be like, you know, these guys that are deadlifting like every fucking weight in there, right. but like they literally just. Ease you in, like no, okay, no, you, you okay. know, you're, you're not getting up on the pull up bar yet. We, we we know you're not ready, so go ahead and do this over here, oh, which is similar. Okay, okay, yeah. So I mean, I think it's worth it. I mean, I've only been three times, but uh, I mean, it, I look at it like this: it's like I've spent two hundred dollars for less. I was you gonna know say, I mean? you definitely, you definitely been in. You've done boot camp. You've done training. I love I mean, listen. I, I love I've boot seen, camp. I've seen you go. Hell yeah! I was a hundred. I was one hundred and ninety four pounds when I had lost all that weight with Lamar. Shout to Ink. I had lost 25 pounds, and he had mm-hmm. me on a strict diet, and that shit sucked, but I lost the I weight. I did. And it sucked. What was it, ground turkey and avocado? Ground turkey. <laughs> well, I don't eat avocados. You don't? I don't eat avocados. I don't, I don't, eat, I don't eat sweet potatoes. So, no what? guacamole. I, that shit don't, don't taste like nothing. It's a waste. It's a waste of eating. It tastes good, man. You got to eat them together. When you have them together, they taste fine. No, ma'am. So, Ink had my shit tight. You know, I was going to boot camp, and I was only going to boot camp maybe twice, sometimes three He's times a week. You. But, you know, it's but like with the good. it's like with the COVID, man, you know, and then being in the house, you know, being in the house since March. You know what I'm saying? I, it's I, been, yeah, it has been what for me. I think, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and, and on top of that, like I was sick before this shit had a fucking name. Oh, you had like an extended like, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I think I mean, I, I never got tested, but I'm pretty sure it was everybody. COVID. Everybody has been saying that, though, because my like... daughter, my daughter was really she was really, really sick. And like, I think maybe the, last October, November to the point where we were mm-hmm. like, you know, we we're kind of getting scared. You know, what oh, I mean? then my wife oh. was sick. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? Then I went to Cali with Glenn and them. You know what I'm saying? We right. all came back. We all were sick. Um, oh, yeah. But travel does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, th- we think we got that shit over there. I'm like, eh, I think we probably had it on the way over there. <laughs> but I was sick for like eight or nine weeks. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I was sick for like, you know, I I had took a couple of mucinexes, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And like, I was waking up in the middle of the night, like, (gasps) like, like unable to breathe type shit. But then it was like, that was only for like one day. And then Mm. it's like, I started coming down and then I was just fucking snotting up and mucus in everywhere. I would get in the shower and just, you know, try to get all that shit out. And then, but then for like three weeks, I was just uncontrollably coughing all the fucking time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I went to the doc, and I said, yeah, man, I mean, he said, have you been out of the country? I said, no, nah, I mean, I was in Cali yeah, for like a couple of days, and I was like, came back, and I was sick, and I was like, you know, do I need to be tested or something like that? And right. he was like, nah, it's only, it's only for right now, it's only if you've been out of the country. So I was just like, so you, you can't just test me? But I don't, I don't think they had him available, or maybe right, he was just, right, right, or maybe right. he was just being yeah. fucking lazy. Nah, yeah, so, like I had it. Yeah, I was sick, man. So when I went back for the cough, and um, he's like, they just gave me some shit to suppress the cough. But I think my body just was like, all right, right all right, it's time to not be sick no more. I don't think anything <laughs> he gave me helped. Your body was like, all right, we, we done with this. Yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, enough of that shit. But um, yeah, so being in the house, you know what I mean, for six months, he just, just moved into the house. Yeah. Fixing shit up and all that, just eating, 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 playing the game, eating, drinking. <laughs> I was, you know, I was drinking pretty heavy the first couple of months until I was like, all right, it's, it's just not fun to just be sitting in the house like buzzed. Yeah. Like I wasn't getting drunk. I just yeah, was like, like, like two, you just be sitting there two, like, two, three beers today. You know what I mean? Two glasses of wine this day, maybe a cup yeah. of uh, uh, whiskey this day. And then yeah. like just rotating it to the fact that I'm just like, I'm just drinking because I'm bored at this point. You know what I mean? Right. So that's when I was like, all right, you know what I mean? When we got lucky, you know, we were able to ride. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we able to ride, we was able to we were able to race, you know what I'm saying? Oh when it got God. out racing, I was thank thank the the bike gods for letting us get out the there and be able to God. do our thing. Thank you know you what I mean? Jesus. But shit, what's going on? You so you when the last time you rode on the street? <sighs> dun 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 Um Wait, did I did I ride? I rode the neighborhood in twenty eighteen. That was it. Two years ago? And I and my last official ride was that Halloween costume ride of 2016, where everybody and their mama showed up. So here's the funny thing about this: mm. I did that 2016 ride because I had done the ride a few years in a row, and I, you know, I started. Uh, did you start it? Yeah, I did start it. Okay. Mm-hmm. But at first, it was a. I the first few years it was like an all female ride. You know, a few people showed up, maybe like 10, 12. It was nothing. Super huge. One year, Shadow let me borrow his BMW. Shout outs to Shadow. I'm, Shadow. I, I am the only chick that got to ride that BMW. And he looked very scared when I rode away that year. But that was the year that I, um, that was the year before. I had got, I worn some damn costume and I had a cape on and it, it my back wheel ate the cape. Yeah. Ate. I, th- I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but 2016, um, Chris, Chris Glenn, she really was, like, excited about the ride, but she didn't know that, like, I did not have a license. Like, I had lost my license. Five. I don't think anybody knew you Cause lost No, because I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell nobody I lost my license. Like, how, you, how did you lose your license? Uh, so I didn't tell nobody. So anyway, I was like, you really excited? She's like, I'm really excited. I'm going to dress up. And I was like, ooh, all right, I'm going to still do the ride. So, uh, like, 30, 40 people showed up for that ride. So I was like, do not do anything stupid. Don't do nothing less. stupid. Don't do nothing stupid because y'all met up at the Boulevard. Nah, we met up over at um. Carl, was at, no, we, we met up over at the, at the harbor. We met at the harbor, mm. and what happened was you had people that were already coming from our ride, but then you had people that were going somewhere else. Saw everybody costume. They want to chill like, out and we shit. We coming with y'all. Yeah. So I was I was scared out of my mind. Like nobody knew. And who took who took footage for footage for that? House took footage for that. Yeah. Who, who, what was that. the route? Uh, we got on 495, went up. Then we got off at Crofton. We did the we did go kart track. Okay. And then we Ain't went been to in a minute. and then we went to Texas Roadhouse. It was fun. I mean, it was it was a vibe. Good time. Yeah, that's 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 the old West, uh, man. You remember motorcycles? Remember the street riding shit used to be fun. God, I damn. remember when you used to see people out. Like at this point, 
it's fucking ghost town at now. this point. But you know, there's so many reasons why. It's a lot. Well, I, I mean, I I don't I don't have a particular reason to blame mm-hmm. on it, but I just know it's a ghost town. I mean, it's like I I, I hear bikes now, depending I on. Hear them. Depending on what part of town I am, but I feel like it's just the same guys. Like well, it's there's like one or two, yeah, yeah. I I've heard sometimes, uh, you know, because I live right off of two ninety five, so I'll hear like a pack. I'm like one, two, three, four, five or six. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it's know. like the I feel like it's like the same group of guys. Like some, uh, it's like one group of dudes that be kind of blazing a little bit, and there's these Willie guys. All their bikes are tricked out, and some oh, of them yeah. live out here. And this guy, he was tricking it out on fifty until you saw that state trooper. And then he had to get the fuck out of there. I was like, <laughs> I, I was surprised he was able to get in. His handlebars was like, you know, just when it's uh-huh. like that, you know, that, that shit's, your aerodynamics yeah. is off. But I haven't seen anybody, man. And I, I mean, I definitely think, I definitely think that, you know, the deaths played a part, man. Definitely. I think that, you know, some of the folks, some of the really, a lot of the main guys who were, you know, blazing and then mm-hmm. said, you know what, I'm going I'm to go to the track or I'm just not going to do it or, or, or. Or bought a bicycle. I mm-hmm. think all that played a part because I really think that in the prime, because I think the prime of like when it was just bikes everywhere was kind of mm-hmm. around the 2014, 15, maybe even 13. I era. would say it was even before that. Like when when they used to uh, pack that Exxon right off Pennsylvania Avenue, when they used to pack that yeah, Exxon, that's yeah. before we were even riding. When they used to pack that joint out where it looked like Myrtle at the gas station, those were the days before. And then we came along. It was probably, probably anywhere between 2010, 2014, yeah. before they changed the laws and stuff like that, where you couldn't have part. I think part of it is, you know, people do like the party aspect. They they cut that out. Uh, we did have deaths, but I think a lot of times we were able to say, man, that's just like life. I mean, that's just what happens. But I think after a while, you have a decision to make. Like some people say. Well, if you stop riding based off of somebody dying, like you're stupid and da da da, and and it's yeah. like it's like to me, it's like uh, it may not directly be that issue, but like how many how many people have you have you gone to visit at the hospital? Like, okay, example, memory came up today, seven years ago, and me and Lito were supposed to meet up in Baltimore with somebody who never showed. Because we were going to go to Yechon over there off the Little River Turnpike. It's a Korean joint. It's 24 hours. Joint. Bomb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 24 hours, seven days. We go to eat. We're eating at Yechon halfway through the meal. I can't remember. He got a car. I got a car. We found out. Shorty that was supposed to meet us. Right. We had to go to Baltimore. You know how you see the cartoon where the person's like all wrapped up like a mummy? Yeah. That's literally how she. She literally looked just like that. Arms up. Could not move. Nothing. She was in rehab for like years, some change. She uh, shattered her pelvis. She had a glossomy bag. She had to learn how to walk again. After all that was done, her nerve damage was, was so bad, she was never going to be able to lift her leg over nothing that high again. She had a wow. nerve issue where it's dropped like a drop foot. So yesterday was her crash anniversary. And I knew because of that video. So I texted her today like, yo, I just want to tell you, I'm glad you're still here because I know yesterday was the anniversary because I connect that video with it. Wow. It, it's definitely been some some crashes, man. Like, I remember, you know, the, my first day out before I even met y'all. My first day out. This is, at this time, I only knew Gus. Wow. Gus was, Gus was riding by, shout out to Gus. He had a, yes. he had a, he had a blue 750 and he was already, you know, out there in the streets, you mm-hmm. know. He was doing his thing. He was working on his Willie game. You know what I mean? That's that's Gus. Gus was Willian. <laughs> he was trying. Yeah, he was Willian. Yes. He, he was a little shaky, <laughs> but Gus was Willian. You know what I'm saying? He used to hang with uh, a couple other folks. You know what I'm saying? Dude, Gus, uh, D and M used to you know mm. run with them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you um, right. you know when I had when I had got my license, I had bought my bike from Barry because Barry had a he had an old that old yellow mm-hmm. Jixon. I was like, let me get that off you. Oh, bumble, bumble yeah, granddaddy. Yeah. So I bought that from him, $2,500, and I was in the game. I'm pulling up. I got a white tee on, some some Nike boots, no gear, old, outdated helmet. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, all, I'm just living on the edge. And literally, all I knew was just stay in this lane so these three or four niggas can willy. And that oh. that is all. that's all I knew for the first 
two or three months right. of wow. motorcycles. That's all I knew was, hey, we're going to go link up here. And it's just like, I thought it was fun initially because it was like, damn, we being seen, we being noticed. Right, but yeah, then it was not. just like, so I'll so I tell you the first night. So the first night we went out, we, we was out all day. Mm. We probably, me and Gus probably went out about 12. We probably, it probably was after midnight. We still out. I didn't got gas about four times. The bank called me like, what the fuck you doing? We about to yeah, freeze your shit up. It. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm out here in a motorcycle. I was like, uh, un, un, unfreeze me. I need to get gas. So we got gas like the fifth time. And they was like, all right, well, we was over there by, um, we was in like Landover, Bellhaven area, over there somewhere. And we was like, okay, we're going to go to the city. We're going to go down U Street somewhere. Mm. So we're like, all right, bet. So we getting ready to head down MLK to kind of blend on, what's that, uh, 202. And we, yeah. we, we, so we were going to take the long way. Um, and we was with this dude, and he was willing and sweet on the willy. So we coming down MLK, and he, he willing about at least probably 60, 70 miles an hour, and the light is yellow. And wow. I'm like, I'm not close to him. I'm probably about 30 or 40 feet, but I'm, you know, I'm, he is in front of me. And that light turned red. That car came out. That motherfucker said, Bow! That motherfucker, that motherfucker T boned a Grand Marquis on one wheel, and he flew about 40, 50 yards, smacked the ground. Oh. So I'm like, Damn, bruh. So I'm like in shock, like, fuck. So what do I do? I stop. Me and Gus stopped. We go over, check him out. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, he alive and shit, but he right, like, he hurt, you know, yeah. he eyes wide, like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to hold his hand and shit. I'm like, right. you know, he pulling back. I'm like, damn, my hand broke. I'm, I'm fucking his hand oh, up. Shit. And what I think what got me was like his mans and them couldn't even stay. Oh, they left. Oh. I mean, they stopped and shit for a minute. And they were just like, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, y'all going to stay with him? I'm like. Yeah, yeah bro, we're going to stop. I'm, I'm standing over the nigga just trying to, you know, talk to him, you know, make sure he stay alive. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking he about to die. Yeah. And they rolled off into the fucking wind, bro. Yep. I don't know if they rolled off and came and hollered at him later, but we, me and Gus was there when the fucking police came. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They was like, where I was at? I was like, well, I was at the last light. I just, you know, we had to, we yeah, had to uh-huh. finesse the story yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's, you know what I mean? So this, we literally went that. to the hospital and was there for a little bit. You know, maybe an hour or so, and once I guess his peoples came, we left. Me and Gus rode home slow as fuck. Yeah, no. Because yeah, this is at the time good. we was we were keeping our bikes in the storage unit together in mm-hmm. Laurel. And I put them, I put that shit up, and we were just sitting there. I was like, bro, I don't know if I'm built for this. <laughs> I was like, if this what the fuck going on, I'm about to put this motherfucker up for sale. You know what I mean? So, I mean, and you got to think, this was... This was 2011, going into 12, oh, wow. okay. and I didn't already seen a catastrophic accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just progressively got worse. Yeah, no, it did. You know what I mean? It got worse. You know, especially running into the, you know, meeting the club, shout the Wild Bunch, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Wild meeting bunch. the club and, you know, just learning what I learned and seeing, you know, seeing even more crashes, you know, really coming into the person I was who was, who was a wild motherfucker, you know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. And mouthy. Very mouthy. Mouthy. You know, stay, stay in your ground. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's, I, it's, it's like, it sucks, but it doesn't suck. It's, it's like, I'm cool with it. You know what I mean? At first, right, I'm, yeah. at first I'm like, damn, nigga, nigga go to the track. Now nigga stop riding. That's kind of the attitude yeah. I had initially. I had, uh, okay. I had, I had this attitude. I'm being honest. I had this attitude that, oh, ever, ever since I left the streets, niggas don't ride no more. Every, every that since I went like, to the, that sound like that, some that's, 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 like, that's, that's some real Leon that sound shit. Like, that sound like some old me that's shit. That's some Rob shit. But I think after a while, like. I didn't really care what was going on because I, you know, when we started going to the track, I was still in all the in all the bike forums, mm-hmm. listening to what was going on, bike down, bike down, and all this yeah. and Harry S. But after a while, once I just knew, I was just like, "Bro, there's nothing here for me." So I, let, I, so I'm, I'm right. not, I'm not in any motorcycle groups unless oh, yeah. it's just to buy parts and shit. Oh, okay, I get, I get you. Like, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I, I'm like, it's no, what? it's no yeah. point in me being in the social aspect. It's like who I know is who I know. I get with them when I get with them. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But I'll come back on the cruiser though. Definitely, definitely come back. But I'll come back. That's definitely my thought. I'm definitely like, yeah, the idea of uh, racing destination to destination, that that part of my life is done. Yeah. Like once I, because I, I, I didn't really start doing like stupid shit. You ain't start doing stupid shit until you got into a bike. I, no, no. 
You 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 wasn't really living on the edge on on on, I the, wasn't on the pink because, joint. Because, well, because that pink and blue joint, you know what's funny? So the last day, um, I had rode that joint. What happened? We were at the we were at the harbor, and they were making fun of my um my flip up trunk. They are like, damn, you got a whole trunk. I like, I, all right, y'all need to relax. But no, I didn't start like speeding or trying to. Sp- I I was splitting cars on that. Joint. I know, but that I was I, but like it, year set, like year seven of riding is when I was like, because what I would do, this is what happened. I get on the bike, I would think of Ty. I'd be like, oh, all right, let me be like I'm somebody's mom, like let me be safe and da 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 da. And then, so that I was like that for a while because at that time, you know, Ty was with me. Ty didn't go live with his dad until he was about like ten. Yeah. So when he went to go live with his dad. And I had an abundance of, you know, I'd be in the house like, Ty, okay, he's, all right, go ride. Go ride till 4. Mm-hmm. Go ride. So I would just be out. I'd be at. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing but trouble on them late night rides, but, man. But, but once, we would go to the club and watch it, watch it let out. And, you know, they'd be picking up girls. You know, I did that shit stuff. one time. And it was just like, you know, I did it one time. I, I was with late, I was with straight riders. Shout out to straight riders. Mm. And I was out there with them, and I really didn't get anything out of it. It was just like, yeah, you know, you 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 had like chicks out there, like ooh, take me around the corner. I'm like, I'm I'm good here, sweetie. I'm I'm. Good. A lot that, of them that's, didn't that, have that's shoes not happening. built. It's like you're. Yeah, out. like they out there joining barefoot. They're going to melt. And then it was just like niggas that was eat, like in the club. They was like looking at us like, what are these clown niggas on these bikes? They was all like clowning yeah. us out there joining a little bit. No, you know yeah, what I'm saying? No, definitely, definitely. So it's just like, okay, so y'all got bikes. Okay, Man. what the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah. motherfuckers. But, but you know, but you know, like, you know that bike life thing. Like, okay, so, like, you know when it comes to bike, dudes don't even got to take, y'all don't even have to take y'all helmet off. Like, you could literally look like whatever. And she could be like, hey, what's up, you know? This is true. Women are not, they're, we're not getting that. Like, that's, that's not going to happen. It's going to be. Y'all getting gawked at like shit. It's going to be, can you handle that bike? It's going to be, try to race me at the light. It's like, why are you trying to relate like, you? Can you handle? Like, ain't nobody trying to hear that stupid shit. Like, nobody wants to hear that. I will. Like, I will say that was one of my pet peeves of riding on the street was definitely like the random cars who wanted to try to like pace pace me. Mm-hmm. You know, or you try to split like they are motorcycles. You out here in a fucking Dodge Intrepid and you trying to pace me? Hello. Like, chill, bro. Before you call an accident. That's how I went to fuck down. That's how I went Come down the on the car? road. The goddamn Civic Si it with the Jersey car. plates. The white car. Yeah. We're Went like, down. We're like, they cut me off. Uh, I, I said. Yeah, yeah. I was pissed. Even, I mean, even though, I, you know, after a while, I had to face the fact that it was partially my fault as well. Thank you so Yeah, I was sitting over here like, is he going to say it? Is he going to say it? I, I had okay. to. It, it was. Right. It was. Well, I, I was already cutting up, but it was just like, I think it was, uh, I think it was Sierra. And she oh, yeah. was her and somebody else. And, you know, she was, you know, she don't really be pushing like that. And she yeah, was on yeah. that newer bike. Right. And the car's just getting too close. So I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, like, just move away. You know what I'm saying? But right. it's like, by the time we trying to get, it, to be honest, I should have just kept going. And, you know, she was on her own. But that's just, that's just not you know who I am. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but oh, I mean, to play shit. devil's advocate, the bike was old as fuck. And I was going to take it to the track. That shit, well, I, it wasn't going to pass tech inspection. So. I mean, it is what it is. All I had was a little scar and just some soreness, and then you know I got chewed out by the missus. Yeah, of course. Of but course. um, I don't know, man. Maybe I mean, I think if if I get a cruise or something, man, you, you know, mean when you gonna get a cruise? Oh, I'm definitely getting a cruise. It's 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 cruiser. just which one. It's like, do I want to be? If I want to just spend a couple thousand, get me a little little chopper type joints, a little get fat M1 boy or something. You get you get that joint. D dot dot got the M one hundred and nine. That joint's really loud. I don't though. want no boulevard. I don't want no boulevard. Like I want me. That I feel like a I feel like a boulevard is like it's still sport bike ish. That seat is comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah all all cruiser seats are comfortable. Like, he still got it. I don't know. You know what? I haven't talked to D dot on a, in a while. D dot, pull up on me, man. I have not talked to D dot in a while. I don't know how he's doing. But um, I mean, I I would. It's like. Like Phil's got the full, he got the full plate. You know what I mean? He got the glide, you know, the speakers oh, on the a, joint. Oh, of course. He got a, Phil. he got a fucking like a kind of like a not like a midnight blue, but kind of Phil's like a, like low key a young old. He's still doing a track. Oh yeah, 
Hell yeah, 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 yeah. Phil, Phil, pull Phil's up. Phil's always fucked up the track. Phil, Phil, damn, pull Phil. up. Phil, pull up to the track. He and his camper. It's him and his wife. You know what I'm saying? They chilling. You know, I mean, he he got he got that old got that old funky music playing. Cause he old for real. He is old. Like and old. Phil is Phil is like, I think Phil is like four years younger than me. Is Phil? Uh, Phil might. I I think Phil might be like. Feels thir- like he might be thirty two. He is. Maybe. Feels like thirty. Thirty one or thirty two. Something around there, but you I know, know who he. Who else is a young old man? Jerry. Jerry is very Jerry. old. He's Jerry. same age as me, ain't he? Jerry has... uh, how do you? Thirty five. No, Jerry is not thirty five. He's he 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 might be thirty thirty three. He he's gotta not. be thirty five. No, he's not. He's not. Jerry, I... pull up on me. He's not. Oh yeah. Need a hall of prestige too, man. He just just living it up out there in Manassas. Yo, I see his uh, I see his post on Instagram, and I'm like. It's like I want to unfollow you, but I want to keep. You know, watching. you know, you know, presti- like, you know, prestige. You know, shit, prestige man. posts remind me of that that uncle who just happy that he just got some social media. He don't really know what to do. He just feels this is just a time I need to post something, whether it means anything or not. You know what I'm saying? Prestige is the same guy who lived <laughs> around the corner from that goddamn Seven Eleven. He is the same. My man, my man. He he either posting like, a picture. He really be. Li- he has. Yeah, he. He's got an exciting ass life. And that's putting it very out. He be either partying, be sitting on a porch smoking a cigar. He at work. He got the hair. He got the shades right here with Listen. the do rag. It's it's just in that order, man. One thing we know is that Prestige will always have a set of legs, more than one set. Of legs, period. And he ain't shy about it. He you he's know not. he's living his life. You know he don't give a fuck. He's not. Yeah. And he's, and, and, He's happy with who he and you is. know he was in the, he was in the service same time as me. I actually, I think we actually went overseas together, but I didn't really? know who he was though. Oh wow! But yeah, I definitely. If he was wild then, well, that probably made him. Wild. It's probably that. That's probably where it started. It's a lot of wild niggas in the core. Trust me. Are you speaking for yourself? I, of course, I was a wild nigga. I was hitting all the big joints. That, that's all. That's <laughs> that's that's all. That's all that was down in, in North Carolina. Big bodies. All the joints that all the joint all the joints that look like something were spoken for. Trust me, it was taking L's for three years. Yep. Serious. Every time I think about you in the military, I think about that one picture where you had the gun, you point at the dude, and he looked like if you don't get that fucking gun. Oh no, he he was he was with the shits. Trust me, that there were a, there were a lot really more worse. Pi- there was a lot more worse pictures than that. that. You did not post. Not of me, like shit that people were doing. Oh wow. Anyway, so let's move along. So let's talk music. So I know I know that's your this is your thing. This is your past time, your career, your future. Definitely my thing. So a uh, few things. One is that I'm finishing up my. I know everybody and their mama been like, "Where is the?" Oh yeah, yeah. What, fuck, what does EP stand for? Extended play. I just learned. I didn't know. So anyway, it's only you <laughs> only for EPs. You only do like <laughs> you do like four, you do like four to six songs. You gonna you gonna give them a two piece? You gonna do four? I'm gonna, no, I'm pr- I'm probably gonna do six, but that's that's mainly because my producer, who is also my friend, is like every time I think this is what happens. Every time I think you're like right about to be done, he's like, I need you to write another. I'm like, yo, are you serious? You got six tracks. Like, are you serious? So one of them, he was like, well, we're gonna switch it out for this. I, I was looking at him like, why is he making these decisions? Why are you not making decisions? <sighs> I'm gonna tell you. Because he's a professional. And when I say he's a professional, I mean to say that his bread and his butter is literally music. So he works with everyone. Not uh, like, He does not work with everyone. He works with eight people. And it's also one of those things where my name is on here. Yeah, I'm working with you. But my name is on here. And you like this. This is not what we're doing. We're gonna do so he's making the beats. He's doing everything. Exactly. It's like better than me so is that expensive it depends on a, 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 most expensive as, as a, any hobby i guess it, i put it like this it, it, it can rack up yes it can rack up studio time production mixing mastering and it depends on what level like what level is this person on is this somebody who does it in their spare time like after work is like or is this somebody who is fully engulfed in music all the time that's gonna be a different level of production. so where you feel like you at Oh, where do I feel like he's at? He's a professional. He's, I'm he's talking about you. Life. I mean, are you you feel like you on the brink of being fully in golf? Is this part time? Is this I'm bored or? You know what? I've always done music for the love. 
And I think that that really uh, conflicts people because they're like, well, you, you like it and you're good at it. So and I'm like, yeah, but I also have a real life. People always think that you that you, you know, you got to make some money. Off yeah, I always have. I, I do have a, a, a real life outside of that. Like I, you know, people like, would you sign a publish all the way? Yeah, definitely publish still. But like uproot my whole life and like go to California and like cross my fingers like. I am definitely young. Man, you know, I always feel like, you know, when it comes to music or being a comedian or something like this, like, is Cali the only fucking place you can go? It's not the only place you can go, but you have to think about, you have to think about some of these artists and, like, where they're from and how their support comes about. Like, I notice, like, Southern people, when they do stuff, it's like, those Southern states be like, I'm behind this person. Hell They're from fucking here. Yeah. Da, 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 da. We got some of the biggest haters ever yeah, here, like, bro. Oh, DMV my God. Yeah, like, is like, I like you. But your ass ain't gonna make it. It's, <laughs> it's like, I like you, but there's a but. It's not always a but. You will have, you know, sets of people. You will have conclaves of people that support you. You may have a lot of people that support you, but I wouldn't necessarily say that's gonna be Cali or what you're gonna get down south but yeah, well you definitely ain't getting shit here i'll tell you that i mean i mean well you can but you can you i can. mean I, I look at this shit I, I follow the page uh, uh dmv hoods and news yeah on instagram too. like it's like that's my not wild guilty. that's a wild it's like my guilty like i shouldn't be watching this but this but, but this but i i follow it just to keep just to keep my ear to the streets mm. from buoy though like I don't, I don't need to be. I just, yeah, I, 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 you're, I, you're I, I can just keep, Maryland. yeah, yeah. I can, I can keep my ear just all the way over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just be looking at the shit, man, and I just kind of, you know, glance at when they, you know, when they promote like the, uh, you know, the local artists and shit. Virginia dudes be complaining. You never show VA no love. You know what I'm saying? But a lot to mm-hmm. me, a lot of that shit be some trash. But it's like that's because I feel like we're always trying to sound like somebody mm-hmm. else. And it's like, mm-hmm. we don't really have our own identity when it comes yeah. to, I'm just speaking on rap. I, yeah, f- no, I feel no, like yeah, R&B, yeah, I, I feel like R&B is just, R&B is, yeah. you can't really, I don't think you can really sound like somebody. You can take right. their style. Yeah. But niggas from here rap like niggas from Atlanta. Uh, I'm like, okay, where's the style? And then it's like, you, you got the few guys that maybe, that, that kind of made it, your Shy Glizzies, your Wale's, yeah, 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 yeah. your, uh, you know, your Logic Merlin guys and all isn't, this. Isn't Gold Link? Yeah, your Gold Links. And it's like, niggas be like, hey, no, Shy Glizzy ain't for the hood. And Wale, yeah. Wale be sensitive. He is y'all sensitive, though. But <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what is a nigga supposed to do? It's, it's like, it's like you, you supposed to make it. So just to say you, you supposed to, you're supposed to go out here right. and you're supposed to go to Cali and you're supposed to make it. Right. But then when you don't make, come back if you don't make it. But then, yeah, don't come to fuck. Come don't, don't come back home uh, if you don't make it. Nah, don't, but don't then back. once you make it, everything you got to do is you got to be putting on from where you're from. You got to be putting on from where you're from. Every day. Every day. DC, Every day. DC, 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 DMV, DMV. But it, and then, it, you know what's, but it, what's even funnier is DC people, a lot of them, they do not want to hear that DMV reference. They're like, no, it's DC. They want to hear DC. Yeah, and, yeah, then yeah, it's, yeah. and then it's, and then it's, and then it's everybody. Well, you know, Don't they, do that. Well, you know what they call them earlier? Measies. Really? Nah, I didn't know that. That's what they call them. They, they like, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you a Measy. Oh, wow. That's what they call no, them. They, they don't well, say you from Maryland. What do they call Virginians? No, they just, I don't know they what the fuck no they call them. They just say VA. And, you know, Waldorf is super Maryland, of course. But, yeah. Waldorf is like. They say Measies. It takes so long to get there. That, that's, that's these young 12, 13-year-old lingo, man. Yeah. But, like, yeah, like, you're literally, you literally supposed to make it. And mm-hmm. you're supposed to just put on for your city. You're supposed to do everything here. You're supposed to spend all the fucking money that you get. In the putting na- on in the, other people. Putting on other people city. that's here. And nobody, and nobody even fucking Whether helps you, know you get not. to where you're at. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> is, that, is that just here? Or is that just the game, period? I, mm, sometimes I feel like, I, I can't say it's just here, but this is definitely, you know. We, 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 we got to right. be like Feels top two right. fucking biggest haters of our own fucking kind. <sighs> we got to be. Man, we got to be I top two. I don't two. know if I want to break that high, but I mean, it, it, it's quite possible. I would say I think it's, it's probably harder for a rapper. Like when you sing... You can do so many things. Like, you can fit into so many conclaves. You can do a hook for this person, background vocals for this person, da 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 da, whatever person. Like, I did a, um, I did a song for uh, the Pentap uh, podcast with their intro. 
Mm, stay there. Hold on. Stay there. Nice. They broke y'all, or you get it for free? Someone else. Cash me out, please. <laughs> you know, you know who my favorite R and B local cool. boo was growing up. A- Are you gonna say Maya? A Marie. Oh yeah. Oh my god. You know what? So so she got me through when I was in Iraq. She got uh, me through. So you know A Marie. Yeah, you do like a lot of good music, like low key. I didn't know. Like I didn't know you were I'm, so musically I'm, like. I'm very gro- inclined, I'm, but I'm, I'm Jai groovy out here. You know that song? No, 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 no. So mm-hmm. anyway, you know she had to like. Sneak and release that because they were going to give it to. Me. I think I heard that. I was like, I don't it, it, it sounded like some some Jennifer Lopez thief shit anyway, thief. <laughs> but no, nah, her shit was, it, it, and it, and it wasn't because she had that one song with the fucking Congos in it. Like I legit, that joint went hard. I okay, legitimately, I, 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 I love, I I love the video and all that. Like when she, you know, had all the band on there. But it's like I legitimately was fucking with her music when I was in Iraq, like off some hopeless. Am I not gonna make it home? Shit. God, like that fucking album, I was cranking that shit. I was cranking that joint. I was cranking the Beyonce joint. The mm-hmm. uh uh, which is what which which the album that's got I the speechless joint. I did not know joint. you were into this type of music, dog. No, like, no, that was then. That was oh, then. I still listen to R and B, but it's like right now, like I I'm I'm all over the place with like rap, mm-hmm. like from trap shit to like mm-hmm. like you know trap shit from like a future or you know or or you know but to my groovy shit like a currency or a Larry June. Right. Or Action Bronson, you know those. Oh, yeah. But you know, uh, so Action Bronson. Uh, Action is my fucking man. Listen, man, he's cool. He's just, he's 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 cool. He's weird, but and the but is, yo, you sound just like Ghostface. He does sound like just like Ghostface, and it's like, like, I feel like there's a fine line between flattery. And like, I'm just gonna be white. Sounds like. I mean, I don't think he's, I, I don't like think he's doing it on purpose because it's like when you talk to him, like when he when he have his show, or what was it? Fuck, that's delicious. Or that's his uh-huh. book or something. Like yeah. that's how he really talks. I mean, so in my mind, I'm like, did he ever acknowledge it? Like, that's like his favorite rapper I don't think or he something? Ever, no, he didn't. See, so that so that's where I'm like, all right, dude. Like, come on, cut the shit. Like, cut the shit. You sound that's like I like Erica Badu when I sing. People are like, oh. In there, I'm gonna always say I love Erica Badu. I'm, I know I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm be like the strike too. They I'm, did this shit last week. I'm be, really. I'm be like I love Erica Badu. I'm not gonna sound just and he sounds like literally if you put them on a song together and you had him say the same lyric, I don't know if you'd be able to tell. So in that case, yeah, I think you need to like forever pay homage to who you sound. Just like I don't, I honestly, I don't think he's paid homage to it. But also, it's like I mean, Ghost, how does Ghostface feel about it? That's the real Ghostface question. Ghostface is washed, so it's like, what are you gonna say? <sighs> is he? He's the le- Wu Tang. First of all, Wu Tang is a legend. Is he a legend? Okay, but he was in Wu Tang, so he had, he had, so he had, he had a, he, he had a couple of little, he had a couple of little bars here and there. I but when he, when he went, when he when he went on his own and he put the fucking pigeon on his wrist or some shit, I was like, yeah, this nigga bugging out. Maybe we find her. Well, you like that because that, that's probably that could be you singing that shit. That's why that joint rock. It I did, love it that did, song. Did. So you used to, you used to sing at the what? So what was some little spots you used to sing at? Well, okay, so it's you used like, to perform at. Let me say yeah, that. Yeah, come on now. Res- respect me. Perform. I'm sorry. Um, two different spots. Well, what, was, what, what was your go-to? Like, what was your weekly? You used to sing weekly. First of all, it sometimes sometimes it would be kitchen concert. That's when I pull out the guitar and I'm just at home. That's when that's when you're doing your thing on the mm-hmm. gram. That's cool. Or Facebook. And then I would also Was you was it. you getting were you getting a lot of uh good feedback off the Oh you, you know, you know, you know, the bikers always show love. Because they all ah, oh, dreamer, you know. There'd be people that'd be like, Hey, can you sing me a song? I'm like, Damn, no, not right now. We're at Fridays, <laughs> maybe later. Um but no, I have several different things. So there's Song Dreamer, and then there's Vocology. So it's me, my homeboy Alex Darian. One one sings, the other one's a poet. And then also we have Elroy, which is like a full band. And then there's a guy who kind of sounds like Flying the Family Stone with his speaking voice. So that's a live band. So we did um thirteen, then 1301. We did that a few times. Um, Some brunches. Um, some poetry slam stuff. We did the funk parade. 
So, I mean, how did you find this shit? You just like, hey, if you guys looking for someone, I'm well, available. No, 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 no. Uh, so, with Vocology, my homeboy Alex, his brother, found me on YouTube and contacted Alex. Like, yo, I think you would be really, I think you and this person would, like, get along. Like, I think y'all should connect. So that's literally how we've been friends. 2012? We've been friends since 2012. He was the person who was like, I realize you like this motorcycle life. That's cool and all that. That's great. But you probably sing a lot better than you ride motorcycles, so you should. And so you said it just so, like that? Yeah, he did. Because he was like, because cause you got to think, if I'm calling him and telling him somebody crashed, somebody did, somebody did that, he's like, singing is safer. So sometimes I would, I would come to the show on the bike, switch out the leather, put on. Brushing up, you know what I'm saying? Get some, get some axe. He'd be like, you really? <laughs> He'd be like, uh, you really rode a bike here? I was like, yeah, man, I still got it incorporated in my life. So, yeah, he really he really got me to um, circle back around to singing because before I did the bike stuff, stuff, my whole page was singing. After I did the bike stuff, I shoot damn, damn videography. Pictures. I ran all them pictures. Anyway. Fast good job. Back to the music. Good job. Back, back to the music. Uh, so during quarantine, because you know we haven't really been out, I have seen Vocology and I have seen Elroy like once or twice, but not like really because we can't really do anything outside of like possibly like live recording. So my addiction has been voice, which is only available on iPhone. It's V O terrible I S E Y, and basically what it is is uh, people upload beats. You can kind of like mix it yourself, low grade, mm-hmm. obviously, because who who the hell is you can mix you can you phone? can make like a bounce beat on the joint. You can well, no, the beats are already made, so then you can't you, make your own shit. You can make your own shit and upload it, but I'm really not sure what the parameters are for that because some of the stuff I hear, I'm like that's me. You know, all, you know, off topic. Cool. I heard this song. You know, always got to talk about that good go go baby. It's this guy made a song. Uh, his name is Kenny Sharp. Mm-hmm. Made this song called Go Go. Check that shit out when you leave. Where it gets a cute, it's it's a nigga and a, a, Did a guitar. Did you say it's cute? No, it's acoustic. Oh, acoustic. I thought you said it was cute. I was uh, going to say. I wasn't going to say no. I ain't saying no uh, nigga cute. I, I no, I thought you were saying the song. But no, no, was I, cute? I, it just dropped like a couple weeks ago. But I saw this one guy, uh, the guy from Beach of Feet Kings, because he's in it. Oh, and I he like posted that. a video, and I was like, "What am I listening to? That shit need to be on the fucking radio." But go ahead, I just want to throw it out there. Mm-hmm. Go go. Yes. But it's you the you can sound perform outside music. though. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Definitely, yeah. definitely. When, when the last time you performed outside? Shoot, what? Uh, damn. Oh, no, no, no. You know what's crazy? We were going out to Eastern Market for a while. Like, during the summer and stuff, we would go out there. Yo, you know what's crazy? If you bring, like, a little band out to Eastern Market and you don't sound like complete shit, people will sit down there in the grass and they will listen. They literally, like, we left. I think we were out there for, like, two hours. Like, three of us. Everybody got, like, $30 a piece. Because people just sitting there in the grass. What, they was giving y'all money? Yeah, they give us money. Man, listen, people. There, man. Like, they, because they haven't been anywhere. They yeah, haven't I was going to say, people anywhere. been in the house. Like, they will, they will yeah, pay, they, they they will pay the top dollar for no any blanket. sort of entertainment. No blanket. No blanket. Just in the okay? dirt. Just in the dirt. At Eastern Market. Okay. Getting, you getting your clothes Not baby, Potomac out here? Avenue. Eastern Market. All right. Uh, sitting pissy there. over Kumbaya, there. Kumbayan. Throwing, throwing 20s in the bag. Real pissy over there. A little bit, little, little, but it was the vibe. But uh, yeah, I've been on voicing. I'm addicted. I think I've been on since late March. So you just you just go in there. You you just you just drop a you stuff. just drop a freestyle and and I do. So I don't know if you knew this. A little bit. So I do sing, but I would always freestyle rap in front of like Ty or like in my car. But I would never, like, I would never, like, upload nothing because I know that I sing and I'm not, I'd be on voicey, like, rapping. So like, you so you just you just freestyle? I literally no, freestyle. No beat? I, no, no, no. There's a beat on there. You you do it over the beat. But I'm saying I never would have done that, like, if it wasn't for that ad. You going to drop a freestyle? No, absolutely. I'll give you a beat. You ready? No, I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm going to give you the old McDonald's drive through joint. Second time I've set my Ooh, Big Mac. Ooh, ooh, Big Mac. We sitting here at Rob's. He acting real wild. Are you really going to do it? 
<laughs> I was joking. Yo, I couldn't. You was tell. really no, going to it. was crazy, so I did a podcast. <laughs> I did a podcast a few weeks ago. I'm definitely ago. making a clip of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mac. <laughs> The McDonald's drive through freestyle. Yo, I freaking uh, did a podcast a few weeks ago, and my simple self was like, yeah, I freestyle, da, da, da. And these joints, these, they were bump. I said, oh, my God. And, and my producer told me, he was like, do not say that you do that. If you say that you freestyle rap and that ain't what you do, they're going to make you do it because you brought it up. I'm like, oh. And then second time, I'm sitting here like, Damn, Godfather was right. Shout out to Godfather Beats. <laughs> um, but no, nah, I love, yo, I love Boise. I do Grand Rising on there. Grand Rising, and welcome to Monday. Like, I be doing that on there, uh, singing on there, rapping on there. You need to get there. back to work. Interlude. Too, too, yeah, for real. Too, well, too much free time. It is. Fine. So what's your plans for the future? What's, what's, what's the next move? You mean like, end it, like the rest of this year? The rest of this? The future? Shit. Tomorrow? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> The future. Once we get out of this year of layaway, because um, that's what this is. This is like the layaway that you never got out. Like you put money in, they said you out here. Came back to the store, they said put more money in. We'll get back to you. We'll get back to you in summer. Summer mm. is gone. It's fall. You came back to the store, they're like, you get it 2021. So this is a year of layaway. So for the rest of the year, maintaining my mind. During this quarantine, and uh, I feel you on that shit. Stand on Ty's behind because Ty is not the little kid that he once Ain't was. He taller than you he's now. He's fifteen, and he's six four, and his voice dropped, and he is he's not a little kid. Oh, he he's, oh he pulling he pulling up on him now, huh? He's just he's feeling himself. Hey, sweetheart. He's feeling himself. And I need him to chill because every time he answers the phone, it's like he amplifies his voice to be deeper. I'm like, it's already deep. You don't have to. Please don't put any more spices on top of this. Like, I get it. You're bigger than me. You probably weigh more than me. And your voice is deeper than mine. And you're stronger than me. I got it. But you don't have to, like, he'll, like, fake, like, take a phone call, like, oh, my girl. Right. I'm like, hey, man, get out of my face. <laughs> like, get out. Like, I don't know. And he'll just sit there and look at you, like, react, react. React. I'm like, yo. He just being get silly. My my son, my son is here. in that stage now. Where get out of here. But he's younger though, so you're not. But, but no, no, he, dealing with he, it. But he, you're he's not. in that stage where he kind of says certain things to kind of get my reaction. Like like what, what is it? Uh, my my buddies that was on here last week, he make his own mumbo sauce. So uh, who makes his own mumbo sauce? My, my buddy Rick okay. Snipe L- love his mumbo sauce. It's it's huh? it's say mild, but this shit's spicy, but it's good. All right, so let me ask you an honest question. Mm-hmm. You got to keep it a bean. Is it better than Capital City Mumbo Sauce? No. Okay. Because but the, if 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 he would put medium on the mm-hmm. bottle, then it's like, okay. But it's like, if I put it on, if I dip it in a fry, dip it in mm-hmm. some wings, right. it just makes it spicy. So for me, I just feel like Mumbo Sauce shouldn't be spicy, but it's mm-hmm. good, though. Yeah. No, I, 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 I always wonder, like, damn, should the carryouts never thought to make... uh. Spicy chicken with mumbo sauce? First of all, like, why of, hasn't anybody of, done that? A lot of those carryouts can't make mumbo sauce. It's like trash. Boy, I mean, mumbo sauce ain't been the same since fucking wings and things on George Avenue. It's only certain. That's places. back when the shit was orange. That was original color. I don't know what this red shit is. But that shit is sweet and sour. My sauce. son, so so I, I said, I said, well, uh, try this mumbo sauce. Uh, uh, Mr. Rick made it. He's like, okay. And then he said, and he was like, let me see what this is hitting on. <laughs> That's your kid, man. I'm right. I'm right. That's you. Yeah, that's nah, you. you. Don't talk like that. That's but and and he was in front of the guy when he tried. No, it? no, he was just me and him. But he said it but, when I was like sitting on the couch, though. But he uh, loud enough that I could hear it. I was like, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's like, was, oh no, I just said I was gonna. I was like, that ain't what you yeah, said. Yeah, but I mean, he's your kid, and of course he's gonna, you know. He's he, like he, he, he's he, like he always wants he always wants some you know some recognition or proof, dad. So I mean, you know, I'm here for him. I, I love you. Why son. Are you crazy? I mean. I am very. I, I'm getting better, man. I'm getting better. I, I'm getting better. You definitely, you definitely dial back. I'm, I'm just getting you old, man. You have dialed back. I'm getting because, old, man. Because I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it thousand on this joint, Captain's Log, and say there was a period of time, and I can't say it was a full calendar year, but there was a period of time where I could not 
stand Rock. I could not stand him in the club. I was like, I just want to hit him, but I know I'm not stronger than him. I just feel like people just didn't want to hear the truth, man. Like, people didn't want to hear the truth. But I was always talking the truth. I was, yeah, but I was always. I feel like I, I was, was, ba- I feel like always, I was backing you up. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you when you did back me up and it backfired on both of us, that jump with, uh, <laughs> that jump with, uh, with EJ. <laughs> oh, God. Yo. Shout shout to Elton. Listen, man. Hey, listen, man. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that was a day. People didn't want to hear the truth, man. I mean, listen. You know, listen. Just keep it 100. Shit was raggedy. Uh-huh. After, listen, it was already raggedy when I got there. But it was fun. Wait, 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 wait. What year did, did you came be, right before Six Died? I because, can't. No, because no, I, can't, died I, was a, I was a prospect when Six passed. Right. And so was, so was uh, Giggle. Giggles yeah, we all, me, well. Giggles, Bernard, right, Gus, right, 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 right. and Shadow. That was tough. That was just, I like, know. that was a tough, um, that was a tough entry. That was tough, um, yeah, that was really tough. And I, and I, and I, al- I also felt like, I felt like the expectations for us, like, got higher for, like, something we kind of didn't have nothing to do with, but it was just like, all right, I mean, we good out here. Yeah. And that's why, like, after, after we came in, and we were taking a lot of and we were taking more people. I was really critical on shit that they had that they needed to fucking do. Mm, and right. like people was getting rags that wasn't showing up to shit. And for whatever reason, if it's like, okay, your job showing up, but nah, but well, you gotta wait. Niggas was yeah. getting rags for uh ten uh, percent of the shit that we had to go through. And yeah. I and I expressed yeah, yeah. and I expressed that shit. I'm like, why is Blase Blah getting rags? Where he been? When the last time you seen him? I was like, when the last time you seen him? I was like, has he called you? Have you rolled with him? Have you rolled with him? I was like, but y'all out here giving rags. And then what, what was the president's word is, I talk too much. I'm like, no, I'm telling you the truth. You didn't want to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm like, that's why the shit broke down. It went from democracy to just, no, nah, I'm just doing this because it's in the best well, interest. The, okay, yes and no, because we got to keep it a bean on that too. Now, we had that last meeting. You know, that that meeting where it was like where he stepped down, right? Because everything had like literally blown up. I'm talking up, about after that. Up in the, I'm talking no, about. I know, but, but I'm saying we never really had a democracy. This is what we had. We had a leader who loved to have fun. Yep. Okay. He loved to have fun. Because he loved to have fun, anything that was said in the meeting was subject to change if someone called and was like, well, I think, and then someone else were to call and say, well, I think. So his, his, it was a wavering thing. His opinion or whatever his stance was, was wavering. I agree. That was uh, counterintuitive to the goal. But the opposite of that was like, it went from like, fun, 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 fun to like, dad. Business, business, dad business. Dad foreman. Yeah. And it was like, too far away from like we didn't want it because this was the thing realistically they wanted the fun out but they didn't think the fun would be replaced with that in fact i think that many people did not think that he was going to get that they probably thought quality so i think when they thought that it was like all right we got this person they had they had a lot of fun and they they stepped down okay we're going to go for wally Wally, Wally's going to, you know, he's going to organize this, da 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 And then when that didn't pan out, like, first of all, when we looked at the votes and all that, and, and when everybody came out and said, you know, this person got this, this person got that, the faces that everybody had was like, oh, like, I didn't expect. We did vote, didn't I, we? Yeah, we did vote. So well, who, but, was, who was in between? I forgot. I forgot about that. Uh, you said who was in between? So it was. Well, who had the most votes? What do you mean for president? Yeah, Hobie. Hobie had the most votes. But but when that was when for. that was said, it was like you could see the little like I was looking at everybody's eyes like 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 some of those some of those positions that got filled, you could tell was like that's not how I thought it was gonna go. The the beginning of the end was six dime. That changed. The whole club. I agree. Um, we were still together, and we were still this, and we were still that. 
Um, but the beginning of the end, and not the end of Wild Bunch, because Wild Bunch is still a club, but the beginning of the end of having like 40 plus people in the club was Sticks died. There was a lot of stuff around Sticks, um, death, uh, investigation, all that, how much effort, da 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 da, that came out later that made things worse. And then we had the situation where that big ass meeting where that shit went to hell. It went bad. So, you know, with that whole, with that whole, you know, OMC and all that stuff, that shit right there, all those components of that, and you know that, that there's a lot of levels to that that people are honest about and not honest about that cause a whole nother fucking issue. Then, you know, you, you get Obi. Obi means well. Hell yeah, he meant well. I know. I, know I think Obi. he meant well, man, Obi but I, well. I just think that he, I just think he didn't realize, like, like, that you know, like you're much older than us, and I get, I get it. You know, you're living a different way, but it was just like when he just kind of kept pushing, like the 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 respect for the you know the one percenter guys, and you know, no disrespect to them, but I'm like, bro, like I don't know these niggas. Like I only know who I ride with. So it was right. like when it came to the parties and the pull ups and the fish fries, mm-hmm. I was to a point where it's like. I don't mind going to this shit because, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like I was a road captain, so I know mm-hmm. it was my duty. But I also know it's my duty to pull up on who the fuck pulls up on me and pull up on who I ride with. So at that time, I'm riding with gum runners. I'm riding with straight riders. I'm right. riding with late riders. Right. I'm riding I'm riding with fucking uh, 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 hill, uh, hill riders. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Riders. I'm riding yeah, with, I'm, I'm like, I'm pulling up to parties. With folks I know, and 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 Maryland Hill Riders always do a vicious party, and I'm and, and, and I'm just like, why are we not even, going to Hill Riders party? Even, oh well, you know, uh, such and such, and them having even something. Their, and, even their cookouts were good. And you know, uh, Thunder Guards having something in Baltimore. I'm like, I don't know them niggas, dog. I'm like, look, man, like I I I, I like I feel more. I got PTSD, so it's like I feel comfortable around people I know. Now you oh, put okay. me around. Now you put me around a, a, a bunch a bunch of niggas who can be intimidating. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and and you tell me I gotta be here to be following you around. I'm like, bro, like I'm not saying we can't do that, but not all the time. And it was turning into an all the time shit. And it's mm-hmm. like, you know, we're sitting there saying like, are we not wearing nobody's patch and all this other shit? But right. it's like, I can't tell. I feel like this shit is invisibly getting sewn on my rags, bro. Because mm-hmm. when it comes to like something that we would, you know, like the club, we we used to do on a regular. It's like, oh, we're not doing yeah. this. We're going here. And that's why niggas stopped showing up to shit. Like, yeah. niggas didn't want to ride. Niggas didn't want to party. And then it was a point before niggas didn't want to ride. Nobody wanted to ride to the parties. It, Yo, was to the point, it was to the point where it was just me and Wally riding to the parties. And then maybe, maybe a Phil, maybe a Gus, maybe, maybe, a, uh, 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 maybe a Obi. You know what let I'm me, saying? Let me tell you something. I'm going to say this because we, we so far removed from the time. The hardest thing for me was being the female face of Wild That shit was hard, okay? Because I would ride with everybody, and everybody would say, where the rest of you good? So, you know, and Giggles, when she was out, she was out. But aside from that, that shit was like, are you the only one? I'm, no, I'm not the only one. Okay. So where they at? And then, you know, in, like like I said, you mouthy, you know I was mouthy. I'd be like, I'm here. The what fuck? are we doing? What's happening? Like, nobody cares? Y'all don't care? Like, you care too much? I'm like, no, no, I care. Why, why doesn't everybody else care? Um, I think one of the things I got the most was like, yo, why don't you, why don't you ever ride with your club? Like you're always robbed with, oh, with, yeah. with, with oh, us yeah. and this part. Like I, like I, I. And they were like, well, "Where your club at?" I'm like, "Well, I'm, I'm out. I don't know." Oh where they, yeah, I don't, I don't know that, where they man. at. That, that's I, like I got, I got, I definitely <clears throat> got static for that. That was I, like that was like question number two. Hey man, how you been doing? Where your club at? It's mm-hmm. like that shit always come behind. Yeah. But I'm just like, well, you know, such and such at work, such and such, you know, I love you know, it, doing doing this thing because he trying to be this and he, you know, he trying to buy this and it's like. I don't know, bro. Fuck, I'm out here. You know I what I mean? Lo- I lo- overall, though, I love all the memories that we created. Um, I like Country as a leader. He was wild as shit. I like man. Obi. Country, holler at me. I, I like Obi as a leader, but I did. But but you got to understand. So, like, I know Obi you from know when from, I was 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought Obi to the club. 
Obi was not about to ride with no club. He was doing something. Like and at that time, you know, he was so busy working. He didn't have time to really, and then he, then he had time. So Obi is forever my family size godfather. Like, so, um, the last time you talked to him, listen, tell Obi to answer the phone and I'll talk to him. Ooh. Obi don't be answering Obi the phone. Obi tighten but I, up. But I think, but I think, Obi, I don't know if he works like overnight, stuff like that. But I know, again, I know the club is still, still the club and I still love the club. But I do wish, you know, some things definitely different. I, I definitely, you know, definitely, listen, I definitely mm-hmm. wish that the whole exile thing didn't happen the way it happened, man. But that's okay, 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 okay. So. Let's just stretch, stretch, stretch your neck a little bit. Um, so from an insider looking out, it felt, um, it felt very l ish it felt like, uh, and and honestly, I, I have not talked to him in years. Ralph is my man. He be your man. You gotta holler at him. He could be your man. Um, but it felt very insider insider looking out. It felt like we had that meeting. All that shit went down. Like, all right, you're not about to be doing this. You're not about to be. Doing this. You're not about to be. Doing this. He wasn't there. I know that didn't go. Because I think he was out of town or something. He was so, out of town. Yeah, he was out of town. So when he got back, in my mind, and of course, just my mind, oh, bullshit. in my mind, he had a, your wallet, your book, your so-and-so, your so-and-so. This is bullshit. Now, Ralph's a good talker. He knows how to set up the conversation very well. And I didn't think, like, Ralph made him leave. But I said, Ralph, conduit, conduit, conduit. You think he made us leave? I didn't say made y'all leave, but I definitely, I definitely felt like he was a conduit. Uh, I felt like nah. I felt, I, I felt like he was a puzzle piece. It'd I felt a, like I felt like he was a significant. I thought, listen, puzzle piece. I thought that you would have said that Wally was the reason why I left. Like, no, 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 no. I felt, no, no, no. I felt that too, but I, but I know Ralph was very good at. It. Well, I mean, I listen. To be honest, I think, um, you know, the, with the situation with Goose when his bike got took. You know, I forgot about that, that shit. That shit definitely rubbed me the wrong way, you know, because the issue with that was it wasn't a fact. Oh, that, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the issue, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the thing, the thing with Goose's I'm a, bike. I'm going to tell you right now, this, this, this episode is about to get so, I don't, like, it is. like, I don't know how, how you about to chop and screw this shit. I'm not chopping shit. shit. I look, I look, I don't listen. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't cut shit out of my Somebody pod. Somebody going to be like, mm. It ain't, it, Did it, you see that? It, 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 it ain't nothing. To, it ain't. It ain't nothing to discuss. It is what it is. We speaking all facts. But what I'm saying is, when I the, about when that. the whole that situation with Goose's bike, and now granted, Wally had already gave him the money to get the bike, but he said, he, but he said, ask just. He said, ask just in case. Okay. And the response is exactly what he thought it was gonna was gonna be. Mm-hmm. And then Goose said, I'm done. So mm-hmm. Goose was the first one out. And I think I forgot about that. Yeah, Goose was the first one who left. And then the wind- wait, when did Wood leave? I don't know. Wood might have been. I don't. Know. Well, I mean, if Wood, I think, I think Wood, Wood, you know, his work thing was going on, so yeah, he was yeah, already, yeah, you know, yeah. I think he was already kind of out anyway. But then, um, you know, situation was setting up the rides and shit, and it's like I took the ro- oh my god, I, I took the fucking road captain shit serious. You I did. took, I took you it did. serious. You like that. I was all annoying. I was off on Mondays, and I would literally go out here like fucking Virginia. Frederick by myself trying to just set to some shit out, up. Right. And then it's like, well, I would tell, like, look, this is what I got planned. They'd be like, ah, oh, we keep something local. And I'm like, bro, like, the fuck, these motorcycles will go to fucking Albuquerque. Like, yeah. y- y'all don't want to go far? And then yeah. it always had to be something local. You know what I'm saying? But the social club shit killed it for me. Uh, well, you know what? The social, listen, the you know social what? club Ooh. shit killed it for me okay. because. Maybe if the social club wasn't. Um, no, no. When may, if if the club was pulling up, we we wouldn't we wouldn't have had we wouldn't have been um we wouldn't have been in that situation. That that's that's a fact. If the club was pulling up, they started like they showing were supposed out. They to. started showing out. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Wild bunch social club started showing out and being more recognized exactly. than the actual club. 
it was like, e- exactly. Yo, how did this happen? But my thing is, you know what I'm saying? And and then, like I said, you know, um, shout out to Sweets though. Shout out to Sweets, Ew. wild ass. Like I had no, I, I had no, her. I had no issue with any of them ladies. My issue was, oh, you remember when the? Oh. My issue was oh. when they were like sitting in the back of the meeting, and I'm looking back like, what the fuck is going on here? And we had voted. We voted, and it was it was probably out of oh, thirty, out of thirty, oh it was yeah. like twenty seven people said it was no. A vote. It was a vote. I did. Vote. It was a vote, and, and ma- it turned executive. And the majority said he was like, "Well, I made an executive decision." That, and won that won that vote over at the uh, the same place we had. It, the it was party. at the little no no. The vote was at the little with oh, the little shit at, in uh, Atlanta. Uh, Willie, what did that one? Willie Cage, no, whatever Kays. the little it's, fucking uh, spot right there. Jay Ollie's. Jay Ollie's. And oh, and what had shit. what had pissed me off the most about it was not only was it an exact decision, they already had fucking rags at the meeting. They had rags. So I'm oh, like, I'm like, what? bro, what the fuck? So I'm sitting I really there don't looking. Remember this time you don't remember that shit? I mean, I don't remember the time and being like. So like that. Like they that. already had rags, dog. So I'm like, Slim, what the so fuck hear, is this? So you want to hear something crazy? So the uh, the, uh, the artwork on their rags, the guy put the lady in touch. It, so you knew? I guess I did, but I didn't know. Oops. You knew the whole time? No, I didn't. I didn't. She, she was like, I need an illustrator. She just said she needed an illustrator. She didn't say... Specifically, what for? So you, so once they said the vote thing, you ain't know, you ain't know what was going on. No, she said this. I can't remember when she said it. She was like, "I need an illustrator for something. I'm trying to put something together." So I like gave her illustrator so the. Oh, well, that's all y'all said. She didn't tell you what it was for. No, no, no. Oh, I okay, need an illustrator. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess you didn't know. But yeah, I mean, it's like when that happened. <laughs> You're trying what, to bury me on the. I did. I did. So I did. you knew. Like, was about no, to be like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but so, no so once Don't that no once that happened, I was like. Bruh, like we said no. We we said no. And you could just see everybody, everybody in the room like shaking their head, like, oh nah. So I al- I was already I was already done that day. Right. But <clears throat> I wanted to wait until we went to the little party down at uh uh Stadium Armory. I don't know who party okay. it was. Probably I want, down I wanted to tonight. wait. I was gonna wait till after the party and I was gonna be done. But Wally Men made the fucking post on the page and say he was done. Bees called me Ew. right after. Listen, it was like post, post, post. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh, shit. Bruh. Oh, my God. Bruh. What is this? Bees, Bees called like, me. Oh, he called me right. He shit. called. He said, he said, Boogie, what's up? I was like, and he was like, I mean, I need to know where you at. I'm like, man, I was like, bro, I just wanted to wait till this party was over. I was like, I'm done, bro. But I mean, it it it, it was it, it was perceived as I was following Wally. I was like, I mean, I mean, it was like I, your I, best I, friend I, in the club. I, 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 mean, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see. I was why like, bro. I mean, it is. I was, I was like, I mean, that's not the case, but it is what it is. And I was like, bottom line, I was like, y'all niggas don't ride enough for me, bro. I was like, I got a whole mm. family. I got shit going on like everybody else, and I took time away. I True. took time from my house you, you were out all to the time. represent. You, you know what I'm saying? So I'm you like, Wally were out all the time. so I'm like, damn, y'all could at least pull up here and there. You know, maybe a group, right. maybe a group ride with your club. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought that was, I thought that was like rule number fucking one or some shit. You know what I mean? Mm. But I was yeah. like, I'm done, bro. You know what I'm saying? And from there, like, this sucked. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. when I looked back and saw how many people had left. Right, right after us, I was like, mm. okay, so I, I, after that, I didn't feel bad because I wasn't the only one who was feeling that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But end of the day, man, you know what I mean? I wish them the best of luck. You know what I'm saying? I like when um when Kenny had us all over his house and he was like, when we were just all there. And he's like, I know. Like, you, know like, you know, he called me a little while ago, man. He Kenny. tried to link with me on the cycling, man. Kenny, come holler at me. Hey, Kenny. I put, need everybody to come holler at me. Shit. Kenny, after this fucking COVID thing is over, like, invite everybody to your house. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, Rob, invite everybody? Well, you ain't going to invite everybody. I don't even know why the fuck I said that. Kenny's got a better chance of inviting everybody. So Kenny, Kenny got, Kenny got so, the pool. He just needed to so put some Kenny, heaters in that so shit. So, Kenny, you invite everybody because we both know Rob. But, I mean, Rob. it's, it's like, I, I, I remember when he made the speech was like, you know what I'm saying, we don't get to see each other, do, 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 do. And it mm-hmm. was just like, 
I understood because I used to always be like, man, Kenny don't be pulling up the shit. But it's Kenny like, in his own world. but it was Kenny just be like, working. but it was like when you know coming to the house, seeing mm-hmm. the beautiful house, seeing the mm-hmm. pool, you know what I'm saying, the food and all. I was like, I was like, I get it, bro. Yeah. And I was I wasn't even I don't think I was even in my house yet, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I get it, you know what I mean? It's like I mean, life that happens. Was nice. That was a nice vibe. You know, people had kids, man. Some kids people kids like shit. Some people, people got just, married. People just, think about how many people got married while they were in the club. Yeah. Like that too. So I think we had three we had like four. Because we had country and JoJo. Yep. We had Keisha and Wallen. And we Lamar and Anita. Lamar and Anita, but we also had uh, Reaper and Baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four. And I could be missing somebody because I can't be not, remember I, I if somebody. I feel like Brian got married. Brian? What? Brian, Brian, the, the, you know. Uh, he, I think he was out the club. When he got married? Damn, I think, uh, he I think been. Brian was out for Brian was annoying and loud <laughs> and very tall and very like. Very like that New York, but that obnoxious New York. Listen, like Brian shut, around the corner. Shut he, up. That motherfucker, I don't care. That tell him put tell him pull his big goomba ass up. I Brian, don't care. Brian has to hear this shit. He he them spider sense his ass be right in here. You know Go what's ahead. crazy? Brian used to randomly pop up in my house in Suitland all the time. I was like, bro, you don't be in Suitland. What the fuck are you doing here? But Brian lives around the corner, he don't come over here at all unless I call him. Oh, he doesn't? No, 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 no. He's probably over there with some dogs. That's the safe thing. His dogs. dogs over there with his boo boo chilling. Oh, he got a boo boo? That's enough for another episode. <laughs> but I love you, Brian. Oh, Jesus. Brian, my man Brian. Brian is happy. All right? We're going to Bro- leave it there. Bro- Brooklyn Bob. Brooklyn Dab. Nobody calling you that. Brooklyn Dab. Long ass name. I remember. He, I remember. I remember. Oh, he going to be shitty with me for this. Oh, we did dear. A, Brian, we did I a, tried to stop her. We did a little ride to uh, Truckaroo. And this man was like, yeah, man, like, I, I almost crashed my bike on the, on the, on the exit ramp. Who bike he was on? He was on his, it was his newer, what was it? He was on his Honda ZX-10 or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, I think it was the 10. He was like, man, I almost laid it down. Like, man, slow the fuck down, you big-ass fucking. You, you Brian, know? Brian, and Brian is huge. Yeah, you're track. fucking huge. Like, relax. He, like, he, slow he, down. He's, he's like, he was like, huh, huh, huh. I was like, you could have got hurt, <laughs> dumbass. What's wrong with you? Okay, D- look, D- dummy. So look, we're gonna wrap it up, man. We 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 we've been spitting. We it. You, we've been Brian. spitting it for a minute, Brian. We love you. Don't don't kill her, please. And you gotta find me first. So look, yeah. um, very happy to get you on here. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute. We did our little IG Boogie. thing the other day. I was like, I gotta get her on here. We gotta do this, man. I'm I'm slowly just going down the line to try to get all the people that I've had memorable moments on the pod to, to speak this shit. I'm spitting these bitches out every fucking week. These bitches out. You know what I'm saying? But um, let the folks know where they can follow you. Let them know all your social medias, all that. Medias? Media. Wow. I stole that from Kim on stage. Okay. So uh, on everything, Facebook, IG, Voicey uh, is at SongDreamer, one word, spelled correctly, no threes. SongDreamer. All right, y'all. It's episode 19, Song Dreamer. Uh, tune in, man. Captain's Law Podcast. We out of here. Pew, pew.